So today we're going to be doing a shootout in Port Royal. Got the RTX 3070 uh, MSI Supreme versus the 2080 Ti Gaming Trio X, I think it is, 2080 Ti, and the reference RX 6800. Obviously we've got the 3070 on the bench first, we've got the 3900X in the PC and we've got Port Royal up. Just going to do a run at stock first, this is the first time I've ever run it. So we'll see how it goes. You can see how it's not been detected, so let's just uh, reopen that. There we go. So we're all detected now. Leave GPUZ open in the background as well so we can see the clocks. So there we go, we got the first score, 8,176, look at the temperature, you can see it reached a peak of 67 degrees and the fans only got to about 60% speed, uh, 1950 RPM. Right, let's just finish the second run, you can see it's running at 1950 to 1935 throughout the benchmark. Max temperature is only 39 degrees and the power draw is 264 watts. Um, that is just with the power limit bumped up and the fan speed bumped up so now I'm going to start overclocking it uh, rather than letting it boost itself up. So yeah we'll probably start with plus 100 on the core, plus 1000 on the memory, see how that goes. So we've got a massive increase in the score there. Uh, it's great having a graphics test which doesn't have a stupid combined or CPU test to break everything. We're using the 3900X here at 4.4 and it's not doesn't seem to be holding back the system at all. Benchmark's very heavy obviously because it's only getting uh, 30 FPS. But you can see it was holding 2025 to 2040. Memory was at 2000 that time, obviously, because we're at plus 1000. And the maximum temperature is still only 40 degrees. Right, this time it's holding about 2085. It's at plus 150 on the core, still plus 1000 on the memory. There we have it, over 9000, 9064. Clock speed holding around 2130. Still at 2000 on the memory, still at 40 degrees. Let's carry on. So we've scored 9187 with plus 250 on the core. Gonna start to bump up the memory again now. I think we're gonna go up to 1250 first. 9259, hitting 2075 up to 2090, 2190, 2175 on the core, and uh, 2262 on the memory this time. Max temperature still only about 40, 41 degrees. Broken 9,300 now. You can see we're peaking at 2205, and it is holding uh, 2205, 2190 dipping down to 2175 a little bit so still going I'm going to try plus 270 on the core next 9328 this time it was holding mostly 2190 going to 2205 but it didn't really dip down to 2175 this time had our first crash there plus 280 on the core See, I think it's when it's getting to 2220, it's crashing. It also hit 41 degrees that time. So I think we just need to back it off on the core a little bit. So we'll go back down to 270. And we'll try some more memory clock now instead. So we passed with plus 1300 on the memory. 
So we can go a bit higher on the memory than we can in Time Spy, but the core is only a little bit higher as well. So we've got 9334. See if we can push the memory a bit further. Don't think we're going to get too much more out of it. Might hit 9350 if we're lucky. 9342. It was getting pretty shaky towards the end there. And it is holding 2205, 21.90. Uh, memory is doing 2087. Max temp still 41 degrees, but it was getting pretty shaky towards the end there. So you can see that time, even though the memory's clocked faster, the score's lower. So the performance has decreased. So we're going to have to go back down to 1350, because that was the fastest speed on the memory. We're just going to try 280 once more on the core, but I think that uh, 93.42 is the highest we're going to get today. Done a little bit more fine tuning, I managed to get it to run it. Plus 286 on the core and 1350 on the memory. And that has given us uh, just creeping up to 2220 in some parts of the benchmark, as you can see, 2205. And that's given us a score of 93.70. So I think that's it for this card. There we go, we've got the 2080 Ti in now. Gaming Trio X. Quite a beast of a card. Again, we're just going to get a baseline run at stock clock, so we're going to leave everything on auto. Just run the 2080 Ti at stock. Got 66 degrees Celsius, sitting about 1935 to 1905 on the core, obviously 1750 on the memory. The fans only got up to 30% though, um, so yeah that's pretty slow, 1000 RPM, 66 degrees, so this car does run pretty cool as well. Uh, but yeah, it's almost beating the fully overclocked 3070 when the 2080 Ti is at stock. Now maxed out the fan speed and the power limit and the voltage but not overclocked anything. So just left it to boost itself with no fan speed and power and voltage limit. Hit 46 degrees at the maximum. The memory is still at 1750 obviously and on the core uh, it was on the high 1900s peak of 1995 looks like it's getting down to 1965 at the lowest you can see it's pulling 335 watts which is 50 watts more than the 3070 there we go 10,208 so broken 10k you can see the clocks it's hitting going down to 2055 sometimes and then holding around 2070 to 2085 most of the time memory was at 2000 that time as well, still at 46 degrees you can see it's crashed there and that was only at 120 on the core and 1200 on the memory not sure which one did that so I'm just going to lower the core down a bit to 110 see if that helps so yeah you can see it's still crashing it's hitting uh, 2100 pretty much and then it crashes so that is pretty terrible. So we might have to lower the core down back to plus 100 again. So we got a little bit of an increase for up to 10,200 and that to drop the core clock back to plus 100. So it's like plus 100 is the limit, which is rubbish because that's not even 2100. Uh, so we'll just have to overclock the memory higher from now on. So we got the memory up to 1300, it's now at 2075, you can see it's only running like 2040, 2055 during the benchmark, still pretty slow, I don't think we're going to get much more than 10,300 to be honest. There we go, we've broken 10,300, that was with plus 1350 on the memory. Can still probably go a bit higher. I'm going to try 1380, see if that works. Managed to get a bit more out of it. So what I did was I've lowered the memory clock back down to 
11.65 but gone plus 130 on the core so I've lowered the memory but increased the core a bit so I'll try 140 next but it seems obviously the RTX benchmark scales way more with the cores than the memory speed on the 2080 Ti whereas on the 3070 it was scaling alright with the memory speed um, and pretty good with the core as well but this doesn't make much difference increasing the memory speed it seems. Doesn't look like we're getting anywhere here I've had a mess about with a few settings but yeah it's pretty much maxed out at 10,357 so this is officially one of the slowest 2080 Ti's ever to exist. We've now got the RX 6800 installed you can see it's quite a bit smaller than the MSI cards it only overhangs the board a little bit and it's only just a little bit taller than the PCIe bracket there still a very nice card be interesting to see what kind of temperatures it gets up to we're still running the 3900X at 4.4, 4.45 and we've got a GPU-Z open just to show us the clocks we're going to do a run at stock speed first again 7515 so this is obviously the slowest card so far not surprising as it's AMD's first gen ray tracing and it's not their uh, top end card so let's see 62 degrees clock speeds were only around 2100 so that's actually pretty low guessing this uses but the fan speed only went up to 37% 1200 rpm so there's definitely some room for improvement here so it got us a decent um, boost in the score just from raising the power limit and the fan speed so you can see there it was sticking to 2250, 2240ish all the way through and it only hit 52 degrees this time, 68 on the hot spot uh, obviously it's used a bit more power, 232 watts and yeah the score's gone up 300 points so that's a massive improvement 7915 that time getting up to 52 degrees uh, clock speed is pretty much all over the place sometimes it's dipping all the way down to 2250 2240 but it gets up to 2330 uh, and that's with it set to what man here so that's with it set to 2400 maximum and 2200 minimum so yeah you, you can really tell this GPU struggles um, on the bits of the benchmark where there's a lot of reflections you can literally see the FPS go down on those bits uh, quite drastically so you can tell the AMD cards really struggling with the heavy uh, ray tracing in, in this benchmark for sure right it has managed to break 8000 now you can see on the areas of heavy RTX it's still going under 2300 even down to 2240 there uh, but in the areas without uh, much ray tracing it's getting all the way up to 2400 even the mid 2400s and that is with it set to 2500 max 2300 minimum so it's dipping below the minimum it just ignores whatever you put in anyway so I'm just going to whack it all the way up to the max basically and uh, see if it crashes. Right, so it did crash there and that is pretty much because the clock went too high so this card doesn't really like going to I think 2550 or higher basically. Right, so it's on a bit with loads of reflections on now. It's actually managing to hold 2400. Okay. Has actually held up a bit better this time. It's been uh, 2400 pretty much all the way through or higher. 
I don't think it's dipped down to 2220 like it was before at all. Uh, it's actually scored lower. That's interesting. So even though it says it's clocking higher, it's actually scoring lower. And that was at 2575. So I might lower this down 25 megahertz. I'm going to start overclocking the memory now as well. So yeah, the 6800 is quite a bit weaker. Uh, at that time, we were only at 2550 with a minimum of uh, 2450 set. And obviously you can see it's dipping down into the 2300s. Yeah, so the extra memory clock, as you can see there, isn't making much difference. We're barely getting like t 10 or 20 points more. Uh, it's still only 52 degrees though, so I guess it's running pretty cool, but I'm pretty sure we're just stuck at this 230-240 watt power limit. Uh, and I think the core just hasn't got enough cores to uh, to feed all the memory basically. It's just completely bottlenecked by the GPU core itself. So I've been messing around a bit and I've moved up to 2450 on the core. Um, minimum and maximum of 2575. You can see I've got uh, 2120 on the memory with the fast timings and that is giving us a score of 8089. So a little bit higher than we were before. I've been messing around with the settings quite a lot now and I can't seem to be 8089. So I'm going to leave it there. You can see I've maxed out the memory and um, pretty much the core frequency tried quite a few different combinations doesn't really make much difference so sometimes it scores a bit lower sometimes it scores a bit higher ranges from like 7900 and something to 8000 and something so it's not getting 8100 anytime soon so that's it for the battle the Port Royal Battle Royale. The RX 6800 is the loser, obviously. Knew that going in really.